Hey, welcome back to the Wooden Metal Workshop. I'm Kent, and uh, during the bumper build, um, I removed the tow hooks off the truck, and after looking at it, I decided that I needed to put the tow hooks back. In order to do that, we're going to have to modify them a little bit. Um, when we built the mount for the truck, we there's a piece of 3 8 inch plate steel that is part of the mount that takes up part of the space for the tow hooks. So I looked at the tow hooks, played with them a little bit, and figured out that we can remove 3 eighths of an inch off this side to allow it to slide into the existing hole, redrill and tap this for the 3 quarter inch 10 bolt, grade 8 bolt that we're using to hold the bumper in place. This will take place of the nut. Um, in fact, I think this actually will make the uh, tow hook stronger, not weaker. We're shortening up the amount of uh, leverage on this. It does pinch through the frame on both sides and at the back. So it'll be nice and solid. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, this cut off and then we'll get it drilled and tapped. Um, have to modify a bolt. I'm uh, going to shorten it up a little bit so it will uh, fit in here properly and uh, let's get going. The trick when cutting something round on the bandsaw like this, when you start the cut, you want this flat down on the table and it's pulling, the blade's pulling down on your cut. And we get about halfway through, I'm going to tip it so the back side is down. Cut. Now we're going to move over to the, the drill press and uh, we'll get that set up and give you a shot of us drilling this out. I'm using the number two Morse taper drill bits. Um, little auction score I had not long ago. Picked up a few of them. Uh, got most sizes from. Uh, Three up by 60 force. Um, still have to get them sorted and organized, but this is the start. Uh, we got a bunch of two flute, four flute. Um, we're doing some six flute bits in here. Um, very few of them are pointed drills. Most of them are like this, so you have to have a pilot hole. But these drill a wonderful hole. got the 4164 set up in here that's what it calls for for a three quarter ten bolt this will self-center somewhat so got it in place
made quick work of that hole. Now we'll switch over to the bench, clamp this down, and we'll get the hole tapped. I'm going to use two clamps on here. Uh, I wish this drill press vise had a 5 8 inch uh, holes in it, but it doesn't. They're half inch, so I can't uh, bolt it down to my holes on my table. Got it locked in place. Side ones too. Picked up this box at another auction. Uh, had a bunch of stuff in it, but not uh, organized like this. Three quarter ton, ten taps. I do need to get uh, some more tap handles. Uh, it's on my to-do list. Again, using the anchor lube. Oh, you know what? Grab the wrong one. For those of you who haven't ever tapped a hole before, getting it started straight is the, the biggest trick. And then you turn it back a little over a quarter of a turn to break the chip. And just keep working your way down. Be much easier with a tap handle with longer handles on it. be just about there. Yep. You can feel it when you hit the bottom. It's a different feeling than just the... Alright, I'm going to grab my uh, blower and get it blown out. Now we're going to go to the mid tap, which will take it down a little further. I want threads all the way to the bottom of the hole, so I am going to 
do the three-step process on this one. That's the bottom. All these taps I got at an auction too. I think I've mentioned I have a thing for auctions. And then finally the bottoming tap. Here's our bolt that we're going to shorten. And run it down to the bottom. Okay, I know at the top here I want a flat washer. I'm going to have a lock washer that's about the same thickness. So I got the two of those. And I need three eighths of an inch for the part that we installed so that gives me five ace and then we've got about an eighth inch of steel so we need about three quarters and here we have an inch and I want a little bit of wiggle room too so we are going to take about three eighths of an inch off of this. There's lots of ways to shorten up a bolt. Um, I'm lazy though, so I'm going to use uh, power tools. Okay, so we're going to switch over to the vise and uh, show you how to do this. Yeah. Or, or the end of the bolt like last time. Got it tightened up in there. I'm going to take my die and I'm going to screw it down past where I want to be. Got my mark right here. Going to start with <coughs> cutoff wheel. Now let's switch to a flap wheel.
run the tap back up and that'll clean out our threads and give us a nice ready to go bolt. And we'll do a test fit. Perfect. Ready to put this on the truck? <clears throat> See you in just a couple minutes. Okay, uh, got our bracket, got our bolts, got the proper tool set up. So the way this works is it slides in there like that, right in here, inside, got a bolt in from this side, bolt from this side, bolt up through the bottom. So we'll go ahead and slide it in, and it is tight, which is good, that's how you want it, is to keep those trim rails from pitching in on it. washer washer three quarter inch grade eight on this side which is also our bumper attachment original bolt Just slide them in and just get them started for now. I have this lined up nicely. There we go. When I permanently install anything, I'll add some Loctite to these. One thing we did do on the uh, when these were originally in place, this one was here and that one was there. Um, they are marked left and right. In order to make this work, because we have this outer plate here now, you wouldn't be able to get anything onto the hook, so we flipped them from side to side. Um, 
put the hooks to the inside just allows us to use them. If they were on the outside, the plate would be in the way for putting a toe strap or a, a chain on it. So if you like what we did today, please like and subscribe. And we just love the comments. Keep them coming. Keeps us motivated to get things done and do things better. Have a great day, everybody.